Hey everyone, this is Jason Dinger. Welcome to the next video in my series on how to create modules in Vassal for your board games. In this one, we're going to look at how to create dice, uh, but not just dice. It's a die that you can roll to get a random number. You can set it to a specific number and you can move it around and place it on the board wherever you want it. There's a, a bunch of different ways dice can be handled in Vassal. There's some that will put like a, a button up here where you'll click and it'll just, it's just a picture and it'll show you what it rolls randomly. But if you're playing a game or designing a game that works something like say Teotihuacan or uh, Panamax or anything where you've, you've got a, a die that you've got to move around and place on a specific spot on the board, well, that button up here is not going to work. So we're going to we're going to create a die that actually works as an object, the same way our cubes and our coins and all that stuff worked in the previous ones. So what we're going to do here in our main game board, and to keep things quick and simple, I'm making a single die. I'm not going to go through making a prototype for this. We're just going to make the die. So we're going to right click on main game board, go down to add start stack, which is something you're familiar with. We've done in the past. So to do that, I'm just going to call this. Um, I'm going to call it, you know, red die. All right. And I've got some art already here. And I think I know about where I want to put it. We'll fine tune this later, but I think that's going to be, there's a box. If you remember on the main game board down here, I want to put it down there. So we're going to scroll. We've got the red die, right click, add single piece. You should be familiar with all of this so far. When we get in here, there's going to be one thing we're going to do different. Um, so for basic piece, we're not going to, we're not going to put the image here. That's going to go along with the one thing different we're going to do. So we're just going to call this, you know, red die. Hit OK. We're going to go to um, does not stack, which you're familiar with in the past. Again, that just means that if I had multiple dice to get touching and I go to pick one up, it doesn't drag all of them stack together. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and add a layer property. So that is... Oh, wait, right there. Oh, sorry, right at the top. I passed it up. Okay, so a layer. Now, if you remember, in the past, we added a mask to things that we flip over, say a coin or um, the draw bag. The picture of the bag was the backside of our cubes or for cards. So what layers are, that mask is essentially layers. It's a front and back. Layers are just... Think of that, but just multiple stacks. You have several sheets of paper. The first one has a one on it. You pull that off. The next one has a two. Just think of it like that. So we're going to add this layer here, all right? And we're going to call this uh, die value, all right? We want it to always be active. We don't want to loop. I am going to make a future video that does a die that's a little different, but it's a bit more complicated, a bit more complex and in-depth. For most of what you're going to do, I think what I'm going to show here is going to work. So this levels follow expression value, that's something we'd use in the future. We're not going to bother with that now. We're only going to worry about three things here. Increase level, decrease level, randomize. All right, so uh, right here, increase level, I'm just going to put increase. This is what's going to show up on the right-click menu. And we'll do Control-Shift-Up. And it, that, I'm not, I'm likely not going to actually use that um, that key command. I just want a command that I'm not going to accidentally hit. I really want this so that I can use the right click button to do that. Uh, randomize, we are going to just call that roll and we'll do control R for that. So as far as the, the, the menu commands, the, the actions, all those are only three. The last thing we do, we have this image. So we're going to go add some levels. First, we're going to double click this one. We're going to go to our demo folder. And I just, I drew these really simple pictures of, of a six sided die. So we're going to grab that. So that's level one. We're just going to call that one. All right. Now we're going to add a level. It's going to be level two. Grab the image for the two. And we're just going to keep doing this until we get all six sides of our die added in four and then the last two and what I'm doing here I mean I'm double clicking I'm not, I know I just said it but it's the same thing we've done when we do the basic um, the basic piece and mask you know I'm just double clicking on that blank spot to grab the art that I want and make that level six so we're going to hit OK and so what's going to happen now uh, I'm going to save that just I'm, uh, I'm very cautious about saving so uh, now we'll bring that up so 
what's going to happen is we'll be able to right click on the die and whatever the value is as long as it's not six because it can't go higher than level six it's going to increase and we can have it go down as long as it's not uh, one we can, we can decrease it we can also right click and it'll randomize which of these layers is going to show so it's randomizing one through six images and that's essentially rolling our die so again we'll go out of all of that new game and we don't need a side for this uh, well I was wrong where I put it let's drag it down here I wanted it down so I need to I need to shift the Y value but you can see I can move the die wherever I wanted so if it were a game where I had to place a die say um, Crystal Palace it's a dice worker placement Grand Austria Hotel is another one where you you grab and place on your turn order board so I can right click this and I can increase it to two three you know all the way up when I get to six increases you know grayed out because I can't go you can you're not flipping it back over to a one in that case I know there's some games that will do that like say Castle of Burgundy with this simple functionality you can't do that I will teach you a way to do that in a later video but again that's a lot more drawn out a lot more complex we're not going to get into that right now so the same thing I can decrease to go down in value so I can use those two buttons to set a particular value that I want but I also right click and roll and I can get random numbers like that so there we go so I can roll the die but again I can move it and of course we can add the ability to clone and delete and anything else we've done just like we did with the the cubes and tiles and shits but this here just is just a very simple quick uh, way to have a die that functions as a piece you can move and place on different spots you can roll it to get random numbers uh, it, I did roll it's just obviously you can roll to two fours in a row um, and you can increase and decrease to get to a specific number so say in a game like Yinzi where if the die is set to a two all right at the end of that year you roll for the conversion rate between um, the, the coin the copper coins and silver so I would roll it and if it's higher than two it is then I would set it the next number I would set it at three and then I'd move it to that spot the three on that track so you can essentially do pretty much everything you'd have to do as far as setting a specific value you just have to you know click through an increase and decrease and rolling to get a random number and then moving a place where you want so that'll wrap up this video if you have any questions or comments please leave them below thank you again for watching